wish I could stay and chat a little longer, but I have got to go pick up my nearly grown teenage son <laughs> from school. How's Danny doing? Uh, I don't know. He really hasn't been talking to me much lately. I don't know if it's a teenage thing or a Jason thing, but he and I are disagreeing on how much time he should be spending with his father, so. Well, he's got you to count on, and that's everything, so just give it time. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, honey. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. I love, love you, you. Sis. Love you, baby. <laughs> She's okay, right? No, considering that her boyfriend was shot and her ex has mysteriously returned and Danny wants to spend all this time with him. I, I love Jason, but I really understand why Sam is so worried about her son spending so much time with Jason. Well, she's very protective of Danny. Uh, yeah, I heard that Dex was uh, accepted into the academy. I can't tell you how to do your job, but you'd be wise to stay away from him. Yeah, you know that we probably shouldn't be talking about that. No, I'm, I'm just telling my son how to, you know, to watch his back. Because from my experience, Dex can't be trusted. I mean, I was good to Dex. I did everything for Dex and he turned on me. So if you're ever in a, in a, in a difficult situation, don't expect Dex to cover for you. Hey, look, I, I don't expect to be in that position. I mean, you know, Anna and the cops and whoever else, they can believe all this, whatever comes out of his mouth. But I know you're too smart. You know better. I tell you right now, you're gonna hit those bags. <clears throat> <laughs> In no time, right? All right.